I would say get whatever you can get. Dr. Jack McGettigan has a unique perspective on the COVID vaccines. He has headed up the Tucson portion of both the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson clinical trials. He also has personal experience with the vaccines. I've got a daughter who's had Pfizer, I've had Moderna, and my dad's had the Johnson & Johnson. So <laughs> I, I don't think, uh, I think right now, yeah, get what you can get. There are similarities between the vaccines. All three are effective against the virus. The data right now on all of them is showing that it, it's helping protect you from getting a serious illness, which I think is the key for most of us. None of the vaccines use a live virus, although Johnson & Johnson's is more conventional. It is it more of the old style of developing a vaccine? The mRNA is a whole new technology. During the Moderna and Johnson and Johnson phase three trials at Quality of Life, Dr. McGettigan says volunteers reported similar side effects. They happen to be the same side effects I experienced as part of the Moderna trial, arm soreness, some aches and fatigue. While Moderna and Pfizer require two doses several weeks apart, Johnson & Johnson has a big advantage with just a single shot. And it makes it easier to obviously immunize more people. But the biggest disadvantage is efficacy. While Pfizer and Moderna are around 95% effective, Johnson & Johnson's vaccine is 72% effective at preventing all COVID-19 and 86% effective at preventing severe cases of the disease. Maybe they'll recommend a booster on the single dose down the road just to boost efficacy. I think that maybe is why that they're looking at uh, and a different study that we're doing now that's mm -hmm. looking at that. 